Okay, so when they talk about geometry on the New York State 7th grade test, they're talking about either the Pythagorean theorem, something to do with circles, or surface area and volume of a three-dimensional shape. Uh, let's focus on surface area and volume because in this question right here, what we're talking about is surface area. How do I know that? Well, let's read the question. Um, here's Keisha who wants to paint the entire outside of her rectangular storage box shown in a diagram below. Okay, so there's a couple of things here that, uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter who's painting it or what color paint we have, but it does matter that they're trying to paint the entire outside, not just the top or the sides, but the entire surface um, of this box. And they want to use exactly enough paint. It's not a real situation. It's just enough paint precisely to cover this shape right here. So that, that process of painting the surface requires us to think about the surface area. Surface area is just the amount of space that takes up each of these faces. And what's a face? Well, it's kind of like the top right here of the box, that's a face. This front is a face, left side's a face, and then there are six faces in total. And uh, so what we need to do right here is find out the area of all those six faces and add them up. So let's give ourselves a little bit more room. Before we proceed, let's just see what they want us to do here. Do they want us to estimate or find an exact value? Okay, here we go. Well, first of all, this is not drawn to scale. Does that really affect this problem? Usually that means, I mean, in this case, I don't think it, it will affect anything. It just means that if the bottom here was really long and said only one inch, well, it would still only be one inch. Even though the diagram makes no sense, it's not drawn to scale. So. What we're really looking at here is that is what type of a shape we have and what the measurements are. Not that every single dimension is proportional or perfectly drawn. So they want us to use estimation to calculate the total surface area in square inches of the storage. Okay, so square inches, um, that is the measurement that talks about uh, how much surface we have. And that kind of makes sense. Let's talk about that for one second. A square is a flat shape that can be put onto any surface. So if I have a cube or a rectangular prism and I want to find out how much surface area it has, what I'm really doing is finding out how many squares cover the surface of the shape. And we might have square inches or square whatever. And that means if it was square inches, it's one inch by the length and one inch by the height. So we're figuring out literally how many square inches would cover a shape. So how do we do that? Well, we're using estimation, and that can be tricky on the New York State test. Um, it just means that when we estimate, we have to estimate all the numbers we're given from the very start. So we have these numbers, and let's label them. I'm going to choose 12.6 to be the width, and you could choose that to be the length, but I'm gonna choose it as the width. I'll put these two dashes here for inches. I'm gonna use, um, 6.3 inches for the depth and then 4.2 inches for the height 4.2 inches so we're using estimation which means we round these numbers right from the start so 12.6 I'm going to round up to 13 inches that rounding rule is that you use the tenths place to choose do I round this whole number up or down since if it's 5 or above we round up this is a 6 so 12 becomes 13 here, this is a 3, which is below 5, so 6 is rounded down to 6, not up to 7. And here we have a point 2, so this 4 is rounded down to 2, to 4, excuse me. So now we have these new dimensions, and that'll make things a little bit easier. So what do we do? I want to find the surface area of this shape. So it's a picture, okay, what are all the different faces? Well, one observation I want to make is that the top and the bottom are the exact same value, just as the left and all the way over here to the right will be the same, and the front and the back will be the same. And that's a really important observation. I try to think of this as like some kind of um, stretch out die where each of the fa opposite faces are equal. So let's think about how that'll help us. On the top here, we have this face uh, is 12.6 inches by 6.3 inches, but we're using 13 inches by six inches. So this top face, this is our top, and that will equal 6 times 13 is 6 times 10 is 60. 
6 times 3 is 18, so that's 78 inches on the top. But that also equals the bottom. So the bottom also equals 78 inches. Now let's talk about this side right here as the left side. And the left side is 6.3 inches by 4.2, but we're rounding it to 6 inches by 4 inches. So that's 24 inches. And the right side over here equals that. So the right is also going to equal 24 inches. And now we have the front and the back. Well, the front is just 4.2 by 12.6, or 4 by 13. 4 inches times 13 inches. And 4 times 13 is 52. So the front and back are both equal to 52 inches. And now we have one, two, three, four, five, six faces to add up and find our surface area. So there's two ways that I like to think about adding up the six faces. I can add 50, 52 and 52, 24 and 24, 78 and 78. Or I could add each of these top numbers and then just double the whole thing. I, I want to do that. So it's 78 plus 24 plus 52. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I find doubling to be very easy. 78 plus 24, well 70 plus 20 is 90, 8 plus 4 is 12, so that's 102, plus 52 is 154 inches. We double this to get all the faces and we get 308 inches. So in this first problem, um, we could show our work here and the total surface area, in other words how much paint would it require to cover this entire shape, is 308 square inches. So I actually made a little mistake here. When we are finding these measurements right here, they're not just inches. 13 inches by 6 inches says 78 square inches. So one way to write that, and I should go back and do that here, I'm just not going to take too much time, is to write 308 inches squared. This means square inches. Or you could write out square inches, but this I think is a little, a little bit shorter. So in a surface area problem you'll have some kind of square inch or square something.